are on our way to visit a few of the most beautiful castles of Luxembourg. We just parked over there, right nearby the castle in our tiny camper. And now we're heading to the castle. This is, by the way, one of the 21 most beautiful castles of the world. And yeah, of course it is uh, like uh, taken care of. We're heading inside now and there is 22 things to see about this castle. It's also one of the largest castle in the world. It was actually built in between the 11th century and the 14th century and it was sold piece by piece. That's why it was abandoned for a while after that. In 19, 1977 they transferred the ownership to the state and this is when they restored it again. used to be from the 19th century and they show how the helmet was fully covered while in the 18th century like the, in the 1800 the one over there their heads was not fully covered so they were more likely to get killed so that's why they made the new ones in the 19th century which was fully covered it's so cool that we still see the full armor here and this one was a big guy so the guns we see here this one the first one was used to hunt the birds and this one was used for fighting. They are very old, they were from the 17th century and 18th century. This armor is late 17th, 18th century and it is from India. This pistol right here is 19th century. And this small tiny thing is uh, the head of the arrow. And this was a barrel from one of the, uh, the pistols. And look how old these swords are from the 15th century. Very, very medieval style. I mean, used for killing, which is sad, or hunting, but uh, yeah, sad story. This one over here also looks very old, but we don't know what is it all about. This one was the belt that used to uh, be on top of uh, one of the towers to sound the alarm when there is something like enemies coming or something. This is uh, how the castle used to look like it before. Uh, this used to be the kitchen right here. Seems very smooth for a castle. <laughs> but yeah, the castle looks so nice. Um, there's a lot of things that they found from the 14th century and 12th century until now. And it's so cool. So this used to be the chapelle and it was built in the 11th century. 1100 and here you see the priest. It used to yeah, lead the mass in the church in the chapel. Now we're heading to number five. This is now the terrace and it used to be the whole entrance of the whole castle. Within the 12th century they renovated, they changed the whole uh, structure to make it the terrace where they collect water from the rain. This structure might be the remain of a Roman structure from the 1st century. This is how the village used to look like with a castle on top in the 1830s. This right here is the whole construction of the castle starting from the year 400 all the way to 2018. You see all stages here. 
building that castle. This is when it was bombed. You see how the whole structure, yeah, kind of was the whole, most of the castle was destroyed. And Jimmy, the guy who rebuilt it in the 19th century, after it was abandoned for so long. So this here was the living room. And everything you see is basically like from the 17th century until like 19th century. Here you see it's still the same. And basically the whole castle was like that. And everything you see that is actually painted or renewed, it's just kind of like, are we gonna go downstairs? <laughs> The floor is not so stable here. <laughs> yeah, everything you see is basically very, very old. But uh, yeah, they renew most of the things, but they kept the, the same structure and the same architect that was, and that they had to like kind of, yeah, take care of it because it was a bit falling apart and it's dangerous to actually visit it. And now it's safe because they reconstructed it. So you can see basically how it was in most of the places. Here we are entering the bedroom. They have as well a chimney and a very old carpet and the bed of the queen. So the family lives here. And as you always see in the castles, the bedrooms were always big, but the small part of the bedroom is the bed. And this always you see in the castles. This room contain all the carpets that are actually, yeah, designs to have a, a meaning, like a picture inside of it. And most of it shows the people bowing for the king and, yeah, giving their animals food, whatever. And, yeah, it's actually so beautiful because they're very, very, very old, like from the 17th century and 16th century. So these are like three, four hundred years old carpets with a design on it. So this is the tree house of the whole families that lived in this castle. It start from there and it continue here all the way to down. Also a Dutch family lived here because the Nassau family is from the Netherlands. So Willem Alexander, he is the current king of the Netherlands. big kitchen and you see everything they used from centuries until now and here used to be the dining room look how cool it is it's always big because yeah royal families they all sit on the table and eat at the same time and they have a really big dinner fancy one with a huge chimney here but also like jesus on the cross on the very 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 old uh, plate like a metal plate and also you see this cute uh, drawer over there. And you see always these big uh, carpets that are designed with like a uh, drawing. So this is the wells and this is how they used to collect water from. The spring water used to be like from the ground itself. And then they have the wells here. And nowadays it is actually coming from on top. The water comes from the rain and also fill the wells. But you see this construction is still as it is. It's very, very old. And you see the chains are super rusted, which is yeah one of the fascinating yeah, structure of how to, you know, collect water, like fresh drinking water from beneath the ground. So you basically turn that wheel to uh, bring the buckets up with the chain. Now it's actually locked, but if you see from here, it blocks the wheel from turning. And if you remove this part, you're able to turn the wheel and then you can collect water. So this used to be the knight's room. The knights are basically the fighters and the guard of the whole castle. The people with the helmet and the whole body armor. You see a lot of uh, old stuff, like a lot of their seating and a lot of their boxes and also windows from the castle. Now this was the wine room. It's not actually very cold for wine, but yeah, you can see the barrel of the wine.
So this was basically the whole tour of the castle. I think it was really beautiful to see the old history and it was how it was. And most of it was like this, like the whole structure, the whole building was like this. Lots of things were repaired and reconstructed, but lots of things still as they are, which is uh, fascinating. And yeah, the things that I remember and they left memory in me are like the armor that uh, we saw and the tools they used, the guns, the knives, and also the wells. The wells and the whole structure is just so cool to see that. Now we're heading to another castle, maybe today or tomorrow. So we'll see you in the next one. So this castle is called Viande Castle and it's, it is located in Viande village in Luxembourg. And the village is so beautiful, it's so cute and it has very very big river surrounding the whole village around it. And also if you walk a bit further after the castle down in the village, you see the uh, yeah like four paintings on the wall with four different faces. You don't know who are these people and next to it there is a really beautiful church. It's a really nice uh, village to spend the day in. There's not too much to do but um, yeah it's just so cute the castle in the background it feels like a fairy tale story or something